Yeah, hello guys, this is a, uh, another video showcasing some of the new apps I put onto my iPhone. Uh, usually I would make a different video for each application, but it's really late already and I just want to make a video uh, for my website so they can see what, I, what, what the application does. So I'm just going to show you uh, about three or four applications that I've recently put on here. First one I'm going to show you is uh, Pocket Touch. If I hit it, as you can see, it does nothing at the moment. But if I exit it, start up music, just hit shuffle. Get out of there. And open up iPod Touch. Pop, pocket Touch, I'm sorry. This application now allows me... Hold on, let me turn on the music. This application now allows me to uh, control my uh, music through the um, the screen so if you have it in your pocket you can now control it easily without having to take the iPhone out open up the screen and start uh, trying to figure out where the buttons at now you can just tap to pause tap to play swipe right next song swipe left for the old song uh, this is an alpha release of uh, Pocket Touch, uh, an application made by Skylar EC uh, in the iPod Touch forums, fan forums, I'm sorry. Uh, up and down currently does not have a feature. I think it does um, pause and play as well. Uh, he's hoping to implement a couple more things. As you can see, the screen is black. Uh, this allows you, in case you have it in your pocket, the image won't get burned onto your uh, iPhone if it gets uh, smushed in. So this has been pocket touch next application is going to be Dope Wars uh, if you ever played Dope Wars uh, before it's a great game and basically what you do is you're a New York drug dealer let's see if you can read the description the aim of the game is to make lots and lots of money but unfortunately start the game in a hefty debt to a loan shark and cops take a rather uh, dim view on your drug dealing. That's what it says right there. So basically, um, what you do is you go into locations, and here's uh, the New York. And where you are, I'm currently in Central Park, so I would go into my jacket and see what the prices are. Currently, cocaine is going for nine dollars. Uh, ketamine is going for eight dollars. That's pretty cheap. So let's open it up. Let's buy 30. Yeah, remember, make sure you tap it to check it. Buy. And cocaine's pretty cheap, too. Let's buy some of that. Let's go to locations. Where do I think uh, cocaine and uh, ketamine is going to sell the most? Let's try Brooklyn. If you want to go to Brooklyn, let's do it. Cocaine is $24. I just bought it for 9 so let's go and sell it off. Oops. Almost. Made a little error. So I sold it off. I regained some of the money. And so this is the, basically the concept of Dope Wars. And what you are as a drug dealer, you try to buy drugs cheap and sell it high. Try to do it within a couple of days. Try to sell, uh, make the money back that the, the loan chart gave you. Like I said, this is an also an alpha version. Uh, it crashes quite often, actually, and it's really not a reason it's not my iPhone. It's just the program, the developers working on it. And usually after the sixth day, it'll crash on me, but I can just start it up again. And uh, hopefully he gets it up and running and gets a little bit more features in here. And so this has been Dope Wars. Let's get out of here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show is... I'm going to show uh, the Game Boy, Game Boy Color emulator. Now you guys have seen the Game Boy Advance, seen the SNES. This is a Game Boy Color em emulator. Very, very, very early. And I think the actual developer gave up on it. And it's actually not that great. But just to say I've done it and say, show that people that really, really, really want their Game Boy Color games can do it. So you open up V Terminal. This is what V Terminal looks like. And you're going to want to type in CD space backslash return. Then you want to type in 
I already have all this typed in, so I can just scroll up and and you type in slash boy and hit return. I already have the wrong seat up, and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that on my website. How to get the wrong seat up, and this is actually Pokemon Gold, I think. I just chose the game because, as you can see, it's very simplistic. Uh, the game does not save. You can't control the sound. You basically can't do much on it besides play it. And even then, some of the gameplay is not that great. Some of the buttons would get stuck. Let's just show you how it does play. You hear the sounds, it's not that great. And this game has a long intro, so I'm not going to really go into it. It's just a show that does work, but like I said, the developer gave up on it. Hopefully, uh, Zod TTD will try to pick something up and try to make a Game Boy, Game Boy emulator. He already the Game Boy Advance, but there's no currently Game Boy or Game Boy Color emulator. And there's some really good games on there, so hopefully a, a developer picks this up or tries to a new one from, from scratch. Like I said, this is just to prove that it does work. And uh, it's really not that great. Like I said, you have to go into V-Terminal to open it up. And, um, and so this has been... Uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Uh, the next thing on there was I was going to show the changing of the. Uh, this is actually my uh, no no cover art picture, and you can see it through. Um, this is also another thing. Uh, this is a friend of mine who did this. This is uh, Jungles, and uh, he was able to manage to play around with the um, cover flow. Cover flow. Uh, S555 file. Uh, he gave up on it. He wasn't really trying. He just wanted to see if he could do it. As you can see, he's able to change the image. Uh, hopefully, someone has more time to go into it, and you'll be able to change the cover flow app uh, into uh, whatever you would like. And like I said, this is just uh, this is my. As like I said, you can change the. Um, the no cover art usually would say no cover art. I've changed it to this picture. It was just a, I guess, a pirated cassette. And this has been some of the new apps I've added to my iPhone. Like I said, I usually would make a different video for each application, but I got lazy today. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, you can download all these applications and the tutorials on how to do some of these things on my website. Download my iPhone. Blogspot. Com, and it'll be in the description in case you can't hear me.